Today I'm going to be showing you how I constructed my do-it-yourself swirl tank. This tank is going to be the, a cleaning unit for my thousand gallon fish tank. First let me start with my through-hole fitting. I constructed these with a male and female inch and a half electrical conduit fittings, um, a couple of large washers to back them up, and then a two inch tub drain for the waterproofing. I also used some 3M um, marine sealant 5200. It's the best stuff I've ever seen. Uh, these cost maybe, I think it was about four dollars a fitting to put these together. Um, and they were much cheaper than through hole fittings and I've never had a problem with them leaking. The first step was to put a through hole fitting at the very bottom of the can that I'm going to use as my tank. Um, through, once that was installed, I put an arm and a 90 degree fitting to center up so I had a, the, the hole is in the center of the can. That 90 degree fitting was trimmed off just about as close to the pipe as I could get. Next I took a lid off an old trash can that I had. Um, there was a hole in the center of the lid and I trimmed off all the protruding edges from the main circular round edge on the outside. I cut a line from the outside to the center hole so that I could flex that lid in to turn it into a cone shape. I then invert my cone so I can place it back into the can on top of that inch and a half fitting that I had previously cut down. The piece that I cut off that fitting, I used to scribe the top of my cone so I can cut that hole the right size so when it fits down over it, it's a good snug fit. Um, I let go of the, the, the lid so that it springs back open snug into the can. I'll then mark it so that when I pull it back out, I can throw a couple of sheet metal screws in to hold it in exactly that shape that fits snug. If you notice in this picture, the um, cone has since been caulked in place with that 5200 caulking, but I also, where there's uh, corrugations in the sidewall of the can, I, tr I don't try to block those up. I don't want to try to keep the water from the underside of that cone because it would be too heavy and it would collapse it. So it's all right with me if water gets behind and under the cone because that will support the weight of the rest of the water in the can. Um, the cone shape is actually going to be used just to divert the solid waste down into that drain in the center. Also note at this point that there's no screws going through the wall of the main tank. Uh, the screws that I put in the cone were just through the edge of the lip and then the, that 5200 3M marine caulking is, is really what's holding everything in place. That's some strong caulk and it's more than up to the job. Next in the process, I had to put another through hole fitting through my um, fish tank wall. I placed it so that the top of the fitting is going to establish my high water mark for the fish tank. After that, I then took my can and, and located the same height mark across to put in another through hole fitting. If you notice, I've drawn this out and I've pre-drilled some holes. Um, I've tried to use a hole saw and a Fosner bit to go through these type tanks and it never works out well for me. I find that if I just draw the circle, I'm better off to drill a bunch of 16th inch holes and then just cut it out with a razor knife. Next I completed the PVC fittings on that through hole and added the 90 with the downturn uh, short leg that's taking the discharge from my fish tank down into the bottom of my swirl tank. That angle is going to make the water start to swirl around in a circle um, and then that'll keep the solids going to the bottom. After that I put my discharge line in and another through hole fitting and a PVC 90 that lets me establish the water height for my swirl tank. That through hole fitting goes back from the high water mark in my swirl tank, it goes back to my sump tank where it's then repumped and it goes through the circuit again. So to summarize, what we've done is we've created a swirl tank that has a inlet port that takes the waste from the fish tank, um, separates out the solids, and then we've got an outflow port that then takes that 
the fluids back to your sump tank or your lettuce raft, wherever it's going to go next. And then we've got a discharge port that lets you tap off those semi-solid waste, um, which actually make a good 5515 fertilizer that can be used in your compost pile or anywhere in your garden that you need a good fertilizer. Um, this has been Matt Roberts for Shamrock Aquaponic Farm. I hope this is helpful to you, and if there's anything else we can do, give me a call. Go to our website. There's a bunch of other stuff there. Maybe we can give you a hand. Thanks a lot. Bye.